already today with rounds of 66. They are two of the three leaders at 11 under par. The score to beat so far. And we are so excited to bring you three hours of action on the LPGA Tour of Korea. Thank you so much for joining us as we kick off the weekend with a very important round two of three for a tournament contested by 120 three players with one billion one up for grabs this week playing on the sky course here at club 72 at the footsteps of the sea and the Incheon international airport we look forward to seeing the brilliant race that today surely has in store amy jung she is at plus two today 13 strokes back of course not in the race for the top, but rather the race to make the cuts. The projected cut line right now is minus one. We have 66 players at that score. Even or above par won't cut it today. Idayan at six. She is six under par. She is one of six players. Just to complete that little bit of symmetry, tied for 15th position. Minus three, the same score she finished the day yesterday with. Five strokes back of the top. Yuni Na on nine. She is at eight under par and of course was one of the players that really caught fire yesterday with a 63, a perfect round of nine birdies. Kim so Yun two also with that nine underscore she of course at the top tied for first we'll check in with her momentarily ea1 of course for many different moments of these last two weeks hasn't really been in the conversation for top competitors. Currently finding herself in a much better position today than she had been yesterday, up to four under tied for 25th. It is 21 degrees and sunny today with the wind at 1.9 meters per second coming out of the west, which is, of course, coming off the sea. So it'll certainly cool things down quite substantially. Ends up being two putts for EA1. Wang Xi and Shield, of course, another KB sponsored competitor around the top 10 with a minus two this far following her 67 okay, opening round. And Idayan able to roll in that short effort. She is through eight holes now. We're onto the eighth hole rather. At six under par. Ichi and two, she is playing her approach on seven. This is the par four. She is the top Mediheal sponsored athlete today. Of course, Idayan also falls under that sponsorship umbrella. And a very long putt from Yunina at number nine. Pin placement today at the front left of the green, just over the sand, just off the fringe. And still some work to do to save par.
And to look at hole number seven here at 362 meters, the par four. We missed our coverage yesterday. It was mentioned right off the top, a recurring theme throughout this particular sky course. 18 holes of the 72 at this private facility in Inchon. This one modeled after courses in Arizona in the United States of America, drawing symmetry and paying homage to the Grand Canyon. Lots of natural rock beds that feature prominently throughout the course. Second shot from the fairway, we'll see the fairway really narrow, which is also sort of the antithesis of the course here, known for its long, wide fairways. A sand trap off to the left of the green. And those who head long have a little roll back down towards the middle. So for Idayan, when the dust had settled yesterday, she had shot a 69. Two birdies on the front and one bogey, and then a birdie at 18 today. Onto this par four. Three birdies recorded to take her up to six under. Putt that's going to need the speed as well. Red, red, excuse me, and well struck. And Moon Jung Min has her third birdie of the front nine. She goes out with a 34 and, of course, was featuring prominently into the weekend last week at the Tucson Engineering and Construction Weave Championship. She is now up to a tie for 25th position. Yeah, one's drive at number seven. Follows the contour of this dog leg to the right to find the fairway. Punching Chiel, meanwhile. Looks off with a bit of trepidation as it wasn't the most conventional of drives and we'll roll down and we'll need some cable management down at the end of the fairway. Cameras and microphones are great until the wires that bring them back to the truck, which then brings them to you, get in the way of golf shots. We'll make sure that landscaping is taken care of before she reaches her ball and now Yuni Na Trying to save a par on nine. And not quite able to have that putt hang on till the very end. Told us yesterday that she doesn't play with the goal of winning. I don't expect to win this competition. However, I'll do my best for every shot. If there are good results, I will just accept it with gratitude. It was going swimmingly, seemingly through the first seven holes, but it's back-to-back -back birdies. A little stumble at the midway mark. Now this, the opposite of a stumble. In fact, it is a big leap forward, E.J. Young. After a par at number one, six birdies in a row. Up to a tie for seventh at eight under par and rightfully beaming. An ear-to-ear -ear smile. She's absolutely dialed. <laughs> she had been up 23 positions before that birdie. That brings her up nearly 30 today. That's drawing some parallels to Kime Reem, who shot at 67 after going even 
yesterday. She's up 48. Buck Dan Yu shooting a 68 today. She's up by 44 spots. And EA1, who we are following, up 29. So some quick movers today. HIN2 just over 6.2 meters and uphill. Didn't have the legs to fully reach. And hardly a cloud in the sky today. That bright blue reflecting the sea oh so beautifully as we are firmly planted into our fourth round of the season. This is the first on the Korean Peninsula. We've been getting closer to home every single week after two weeks abroad to start the season on Jeju, the islands south of the mainland and back up just west of the capital city of Seoul, about 30 kilometers or so from downtown proper. Dayan playing her second. A frozen rope to the end of the fairway with her first. She goes just about pin high and slightly off the green. See her caddy gesturing that cut. Left to right is where they wanted it to go. It goes the opposite and almost entirely camouflaged over the rocky valley. Is the A1. If there's seven iron, she wants to do the opposite. Go left to right. And it is your run of the mill approach shot, not right at the pin. Tricky one today with the placement, excuse me, so close to the fringe. Eight iron for her. I don't know that she reaches the green, so settles for that, and Bung Shin Shiel, perhaps the cleanest look, though, playing from the rough, and she, conversely, has the depth, but goes slightly more to the right. Number 18 we go, Kim So Yoon 2. This is her final hole of the front nine, teeing off on the 10th today. In that three way tie for the top, and that is a wonderful on. It was a 63 in the opening round today. This would be 33 on the way out. And finds herself sharing the lead with Chung Yoon Ji. And the first ever winner of this event, Bak Ji Young, with identical rounds of 66 today. Right in the hunt, Cho Ayun, sole possession of fourth. An Song Yi, Mata Som, tied for fifth. And tied for seven, that will round out the top ten. Kim Ji Su, Yunina, Yi Cha Yun Tu, Pei So Hyun. And that is the way we sit after the first quarter of an hour of day number two. Here at Club 72, this is the Medihil Han Google Boat Championship. Plenty more to come today from Incheon.
이더많아요Great to have you aboard with us here on a Friday in Incheon. Imi Jung, she is on number 18. She is at plus three and is becoming more and more in danger of missing the cuts. Her approaches to the green lacking, leaving rather a little bit to be desired. Currently finding herself down in a tie for 105th position. She needs at the minimum four strokes on the back nine. That birdie would have done wonders for her in her hope and her quest to get back towards that magical number of one under. Peng Shin Shiel, meanwhile, at seven, cannot approve upon her seven under score. Over at 10, Yuni Na, who is on a slip and slide and an unwelcome journey at that. Down after back to back bogeys, she missed the green and catapults to the opposite side. She's fighting it a bit at the moment and definitely in danger of making it three squares in a row on that scorecard. a tap and par for the Sultrion sponsored athlete Kim Soyun 2 so that will set her up at 34 on the way out today still up at the top and really no direct push from her especially with Yunina sliding that would mean Ichaeun 2 and Peso Hyun are the closest to her in the push in the hunt for the top. This is EJ Young at number eight. This a birdie that would have taken her to nine under, but quite frankly, a bit of a head scratcher. Nowhere near online with that read of the break. KLPGA 이혜원 선수입니다. 선수들과 함께 좋은 뜻으로 기부에 참여하게 되어서 아이들의 미래에 도움이 되어주고 싶습니다. 도움이 필요한 청소년들에게 희망을 줄수 있도록 저도 최선을 다하겠습니다. 파이팅!
ينفذون Yunina needs this to avoid three bogeys in a row. And if anything, it's a bit of stabilization with that par kicking off the back nine and halting that slide. We had just heard from AA1, of course. She has demanded that she be placed in a category of her own. It's called the last 13 months on the KLPGA Tour. Her tee shot on the par 3. The wind slightly at her back. She finds the center of this green. Seven-meter oh, par three, sure. shortest hole on the course. And this follow-up hole before the turn, 365-meter par four. The fairway is found without complication. By each and two, and that fluorescent yellow golf ball that makes her quite an easy player to track. Function Shield is next. get it to bite and dig in her bogey on hole number six just her second of the tournament she had one at the par three twelfth yesterday to go along with what is now nine birdies in the competition she's on the green but well off of the pin finds herself in a tie for 11th position with EJ Young Hong Ji Won and Im Giu. Ijumi, our defending champion, she is just going to squeak in and make the cut at one under par. And the champ from 2021, Pak Ji Young, 10 strokes clear of her. Co leading this tournament with Chung Yun Ji and Kim So Yun too.
back, nearly finding one from off the green. A shootout between the two KB Financial Group sponsored athletes and our featured group, she and EA1. To E.J. Young. Playing the iron out of the fairway. Needing to climb up, she was a full meter beneath the pin. And maybe a little push with the wind. Not wanting to leave it short. With the sand trap looming, that long ribbon around the green. A fair bit of work to do. from the fringe that has next to no break on it. Bit of a confusing one as she was fully expecting that to drift towards the target. Chain two is next. Wants to stay front left. And also can't get it to dig in. She is even further out than her group and almost all the way to the back. Back to EA1. The wind really starting to pick up. her look at a birdie that needs to be perfect for 6.3 meters take her within six and oh. not quite the last few milliseconds of that putt the ball was quite literally over the edge that's where she left the pin and she knew she was going to have to hit it with the pace She'll settle for par So you next and reads that approach like a picture book. And that it was almost perfect and quite remarkable considering where she started that shot from in the sand. Her caddy gets the rake out while she admires her effort. Now Yuni Na at 11. Just make the flag stick out to the left of the green over the rough. Starts this left and finishes left. Uh oh, that's a big kick off the rocks, and that could have been a lot of trouble if not for a thick bit of grass off the green to trap it and hold it firm. Looks like she'll avoid a penalty, but. It's the first time that I can recall this week that the rocks made their presence felt and heard. Number 9, 365 meters, a par 4 to conclude the front 9. There is the trademark long, wide fairways. 80 meters if you go all the way. That is the end of the fairway. 225 from the tee, the end of the bunker to the right of the fairway, and the pond that splits the fairway in two. That long ribbon sand trap between the water and the green. And the pin placement today, as we've seen, seven yards off the front of the green and five yards from the left fringe. Well, it looks suspiciously like those white domed towers 
in the background are golf balls. They are not. Of course, those are navigation aids for the international airport that also shares this little island here in Changu. So it would be an opportunity for a good sponsorship activation if you could slap some spray paint on them. Birdie indeed. Birdie to start her back nine, the traditional front nine, and further to it, now the outright lead for Kim So Yun too, and we'll have the entirety of holes two through nine to pad it. The new leader of the Medihil Han Google Bowl Championship. Chance from the gallery and caddy alike to go. So they needed to run. She'll consider herself very, very lucky for the assist that the rough actually provided this time after that big kick off the stone. Identical putt in terms of its movement, but the yardage much closer to perfect. That should leave EJ on with nothing more than a tap in.
power save, but doesn't strike it with the pace it needs to reach its target. Maybe two meters if we're being generous. That's an unfortunate miss for her. Drop her out to a tie for 10th at seven under. Time being, EA1 at 9. Over the water, over the sand, onto the green. 133 meters with this 7 iron, and she will park on the fringe. So the wind throws a wrench. There's a surprisingly aggressive pin placement for a Friday, must be said. Brings the water and sand all into play, and just the yardage with the average drives here make it really, really tricky to get it to stick. on the green for a moment before descending back into the fairway. Tough one for Bung Shin Chil. leader without the co and hyphen playing her approach on number two leave herself with about a six to seven foot downhill putt for birdie
So Yuni now in another position where she's slipping and sliding. This will be her third bogey in the last four holes. Thought she'd turn the page or turn a corner at the last, but it sees her stumble yet again, unfortunately. And as it is reflected on the leaderboard, a tough run for the player who started the day at nine under in first place, down to six under for the tournament in a bit of a tricky spot. Now trailing Kim so Yun two by six. It is a weather day that is pleasantly dis defying all of our expectations. Sunny, nearly 20 degrees, though it is windy. It is round two of the Medihil Hang Google Bow Championship from Club 72. Yeah, one exchanging clubs from her pitching wedge to her putter for a tap in par. 
Compared to the lofty standards that she has set for herself, she was nowhere to be found last week. Didn't see much of her yesterday with her morning tea time. We'll see how much noise she can make on the back nine today. Speaking of noise, the loudest play, Kim Soyun 2 at 12 under par and still has eight holes to try and build a comfortable little lead for herself. This on number two, playing the front nine on the way in, looking for a birdie. And the break starts to be applied. The weight was to the perfect percentile, but just slightly off to her left. She'll tap it in the advantage of stay at one. Back to nine with Peng Xin Shiel. Good control with the weight to about two feet off of the pin. Let's go to the par three. Increasingly long duration, trying to get back. Still with about five feet to play. Chain two on number ten on the green, but falling down the hill back towards the fringe. And a good par save. Out with a 33 bogey free 600 tied for 15th at the turn. a perplexing putt function shield just a few feet off and ends up with the bogey
continuing to find that putter cold. The race to the WeMix Championship. One more competition to keep in mind week in and week out. Ranking points for the final classification, plus a boost for the majors, plus an additional boost for those in the top 60, all the way towards a total prize money event of 500,000. We mix 90,000 specifically set aside for the winner. The top five will be Look, we'll be finding out in just a moment, but in 2024, the We Made Points title winner will take home 20 million won. Hung Yu Min up seven spots after her win last week and a comfortable lead at that, 821.42 to lead that list. A1 begins the back nine, starting at four under par. And finds herself disappearing behind the tall grass. Shing Shield is next. She's not convinced she's gonna like this. Let's see why. Also, off the main fairway. Actually, looks like she might be joining hole number nine for the time being. Chain two gets closer. Less than two meters for a par. Ideon, big provisional. Also looking like she is headed to the sand as well. So each and every member of the featured group struggling off the tee here.
with her power secured and we'll move right along. MGU on number eight. Chip down the hill to get the ball started and nice and close for a tap in. And two will fail to secure her par. We'll be dropping. EA yeah, one at ten second up on our tiptoes to try and see where it lands. We would like to see as well, we do not like to see however, that she is in the sand trap. Pin. Pin high is where she lands. We'll tap in to try and build upon the advantage. the sand. The ball's actually up in a little piece of grass. Now that affects her ability to make contact. Should, in theory, improve it. We just don't know where it went. Our caddy's coming to have a look as well. And unfortunately, that view not giving us much more of a resolution to the matter. This is not fun. In fact, this is a shot you can almost never practice. Hovering over the ball, awfully close to the sand as well, punishing Shiel. At least we can let the suspense build when we come back from break. We'll find out where those two shots went and how it will affect their ability to continue to try and progress. Kim So Yun to our leader at 12 under, one stroke clear, Pak Ji Young and Shang Yun Ji. Cho Yan fourth, tied for fifth, An Song Yi and Matt Tassel. The second round of the Medi Heel Hang Google Bow Championship from Club 72. We'll have plenty more as our second hour of coverage resumes after the break.
Welcome back to Club 72. 3 12 p.m. local time. Here in Incheon. Any day on playing her approach. And leaving a fair bit of work to do on the green. To, looking to make her advantage to 2.7 meters the distance. Slightly uphill putt that she gets a piece of the lip on. I'll have to tap in to settle for a par. We've found out. Punching she landed in the fairway. Her third shot at 10. A pin placement, an aggressive one to the back right corner, seemingly, and does really well to get it there. EA1 finds herself in the sand trap. The beach has been popular on number 10. She will roll back down, but wasn't sure if it's a mixture of the angle that the ball was at as she addressed it or what, but not anywhere near the pin. Be a tricky putt for birdie next in the meantime. Uni now with a 50 degree wedge on 13. back towards the center, that left to right wind significant. Any Jay on 90 meters out on 11. To climb nearly two meters up as well. And with the wind at her back, tough to get the backspin to bite. She rolls to the fringe. Now, EA1 at number 10. Call it six feet shy. Each and two on 11 in the fairway, all the way to the back corner, and a little spin towards the center. Dayan for birdie. This would take her to seven under par. Gets it 90% of the way there, but we'll need one more putt. Thirteen. Birdies have been a tough commodity to find.
That's a hold that she's not going to look back on fondly, Peng Shinshu. And she and Katia alike mystified. Off the green Kim Soyun too. It's a tricky spot on the fringe to land. Actually, picks up a ton of speed. Not a soft landing by any stretch. Shoots off about seven meters or so away from the pin. That is a satisfying rattle. Gen 2, starting it above the hole and dropping back online. This birdie made to stem the slide. Save to keep the advantage at one. Three birdies on the day through now 13 holes for our leader. Teeing off at 11. Shaping towards the hillside rough, but because it rolls there, it's able to roll back down into the fairway. Okay. 
알겠습니다. 이제 네, 멈춰주세요. Courage and execution. Playing the fate and EA1 does it with precision. Three into the fairway from our featured group. The back nine is alive and well. Of course, the LPGA Tour of Korea is back, but so is the Dream Tour feeder series, consistently churning out the stars of tomorrow. Fun Cheju, most recent event to come and go, the 2024 Rangatong Dak Q Capital Partners Dream Challenge first tournament, Teddy Valley, where we were last week. rounds Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 128 in the fields. The weather was stunning for the opener in 2024. And the winner. Absolutely call it. Take eight days to reset and then head to Muan for the 2024 Muan Country Club Offer You Dream Tour second tournament. Maybe we'll see Chung Juri's name on one of these leaderboards in the near future. Projected cut is at one under par. Kim So Yun two, 11 clear of that. The score to beat through 13 holes playing on the front of the sky course here at Club 72. We'll have more when we return to Incheon. to report a false alarm. That is generally our sequence heading to commercial, but we'll stick around for another five minutes or so before taking a break because the players out there certainly are showing no signs of slowing down. To the par 3, 12th, EJ Young. 173 meters, the longest three on the sky course. Hybrid selected, seeking the pin very deep from this 42 yard deep greens. 11 yards from its rear, and that's a well shot ball.
back a hole. EA1 playing towards the C, 92 meters on the approach and the wind at their back continuing to make this approach all the more difficult. Factoring in the wind, EA1 should be satisfied with that. Chinchilla is next. She goes a little bit shallower. And the backspin keeps her close. So no false alarm this time. The scoreboard is unchanged. Park Ji Young, Chung Yun Ji, the joint runner ups. Cho Ayan remains fourth. And Song Yi, Mata Som, and now Peso Hyun in the top five at the Medi Heel Han Google Bow Championship.
Union Ave preparing a putt for birdie on hole number 14, 9.2 meters and above the hole, starting to drift right, and that will be the miss. her rut, missing out on the birdies since hole number five. She remains bogey-free and inches closer to the top ten. on and off the green and down into the sprinkler cover. So some free relief on the horizon. Taken her within three, but slightly misjudged as she struck that with some velo, and it goes well past. Sung stands that one up. Nice ball. And we'll settle for par. E.J. Young, excuse me. She did have that bogey streak snapped at number eight and has not birdied since the seventh. She's due. Nicely executed for Moon Jung Min, who gets back to even. It's been a very difficult back nine. A double bogey, a bogey, and a triple, but we're covering back to even. She'll need one more to make the cut. That will be the next focus. Nearly a holdout from off the green.
Udayan reaches the 12th tee. Drops it to the right and has a long way to go with that birdie putt. is next looking on and will be disappointed to find herself back in the sand. Couldn't keep it up. Shield shows the two of the members of her group how it's done. Kim Soyun two. Five holes to play, one shot remains the margin of her lead and she is just going to squeak that in as it stays online barely but more than enough to get the job done Closer to that target minus one score. Struck the way she wanted it to be. Back to Yi. A par of ten stays at plus two. Digs into the sand. Let's take it up and down in a hurry. We'll run that about half the distance between her and the hole.
79. This is a long way away on 15. 14.7 and uphill. And breaking the opposite direction, right to left, despite getting it back to level with the pin. Anything more than a two putt par is gravy. It's 12.7 out, that's about a 12.1 putt. A half a meter between her and her par. Name GU on her approach. Can't cover that little stretch of rough between fairway and green until she was in between clubs and thought she could muscle it on. First bogey of the day drops her to three under par, but Sand really forcing a tough putt out of her that she just was unable to convert on. Oh, let's go. No such problems for Pak Ju Young, who is on to four birdies today, up to five under par. Shin Shiel, back at the par three. Ends the drought. Last time she birdied, she birdied three times in a row. She can do that again. She can start to reel in the leader. Five back now with that birdie. Par secured. Number thirteen. Towering T blocks looking down towards the green. It's skipped in. Looking dangerous and ends up nearing the worst case scenario as there is some 
overgrown grass that will look to take advantage of anything other than the perfect escape shot as we head to 16, final part 3 of the round for Yunina. To our leader, 100 meters exactly, covering 400 with the first two shots. Let's see just how tricky it can be to get up and down the extreme right side of the green. And now MGU at eight under, her fourth. Wants to keep it close to make the par less stressful. From her position off the green. Couldn't get it down in time. to number 13, the final six holes for our featured group, Peng Xin Xiu with the honor and perhaps too good of a drive. Going beyond the fairway and into the rough. Stay in, free day on. Looking like it was headed in the way of the cart path. Back to 10. An early stand up, not often a good sign. Gee, it is a bogey to start the back nine, dropping her outside of the top 10. Two from the fringe at 13, her birdie putt. <laughs> so now, well, right. She knew there'd be break. A little too much outside to begin.
Peso Yun on the par five. And that is going to come back to the fringe, but she went right at it. And despite this being a tricky break, it is within five or six meters of her birdie. So you're in two. Our birdie at six. We only have three holes left after this. Running out of time to widen the gap. Young on 14, closest to the pin. And that is an exquisite approach shot. for birdie to move to six under, 6.3 meters out. Didn't get the rate of the break. Ironed out. gone cold at about the same time. That's good news for the rest of the field. Bad news for her advantage, however. And she does not want to go back, but <laughs> it's like she's drawn to the bunkers these last 40 minutes or so. It costed her at the last, starting this run of three par fours in a row in a sandy situation. Kim so in two. Her bogey brings her back into a three-way tie. She had cooled off after going out to get the lead on the 10th for her, her first bogey of the day, and just three left on Friday. Gorgeous view, the city, the mountains, the ocean, but the Part of this landscape that makes the approach so ominous is this bunker that has now collected two of our featured group. I mean, you, you can't fault them for it. The pin placement was designed to be this difficult. The organizing committee knew what they were doing. Bung Shin Shiel, the only two stay out but as a result, she plays a bit deeper and rolls off the back. The 
Spacer Yan at 10. A delayed tea time this morning. So she still has lots of work to do. Eight holes to play, but only needs one as that birdie takes her to double digits under par. And with it, a birdie away from making a big jump. Level Choayan now, two under for the day. It still remains Park Ji Young with that round of 66, as well as Jung Yoon Ji and Sung Yi, all putting together fantastic second rounds. Though they'll have some pressure. And Kim So Yoon too still has a few holes to get that bogey back. We'll be back after a short break to Club 72. Final stretch and the final hour of competition. In our second round coverage here at the Metaheel Han Google Boat Championship, Ichae and two at seven under par, playing her approach shot on 14. Finds the downslope that will bring her closer to the fringe. She'll have a right to left uphill putt next. 
the moment tied for 13th position with Peng Xin Xiu. EA1 drifting further and further out of the race. This is a much better shot from the sand, but still, as it's designed to be, a tough up and down. And not quite at the point of sounding the alarm, but she's tied for 39th. If she does not make this putt, she starts to drift out, out towards 50th and higher in that projected cut, which is at one under. We have 61 players right now clear of it. And nine at one under. That list could go on the wrong side. And even we find 13. We just need one stroke to make the cut. And of those 13, five of them still on course. Hoon Jung Min is one of them who needs a birdie in her final two holes after a really rocky back nine. Choi Young, who was open for a bird, but will be frustrated with the end results. Also into the sand, goes long, doesn't make the putt, and she's staring at a bogey. Idayan, excuse me. That would see her drop to six under par. This gives us some flashbacks to earlier in the round. This is late on the front nine. Over the rocks and down onto the green. Sounds like someone somewhere around the course just drove their ball into a tree. That was a loud crack. And with this course basically surrounded by the sea. The echoes reverberate to all corners. Function Shield, that was her look at Bird. She'll settle for a par. Uphill, remember, and significantly right to left. Speed will be key because once it flattens out, it's going to need to get the rest of the way. So she read the transition point as it drops away from the fringe, but the power, the missing ingredient. EA1 to avoid a bogey, but she short changes the putt. The sand trap certainly proves to be a significant obstacle once again. That is back to back bogeys after going the first 11 holes without one of them. penultimate hole, her second shot, the approach. Getting a bit of an assist from the wind at her back. Finds the center of the putting surface. for 15th with a look to go to 7 under. She has a downhill putt. She's being cautious of the speed. Left it short. That's a difficult one on downhill. You don't mind 
a bit more aggressive, generally speaking. Easier to putt up, but she'll settle for par. Jill, the only one to avoid the bunker at the last. The best score and the honor remains hers. of the way, each and two. This thing's just outside the top ten for now. Day on with an uneventful drive, one of the players under the sponsorship banner in Mediheal this week. Looking to put on a good performance. She and Ichin too, both in the top 15. EA1 just needs a boring hole, a par to recalibrate. Starts it off with a really nice drive and also rolls down into a good yardage situation. Kim so Yun too, looking to get back in to sole possession of the lead. Came within a few centimeters of doing just that. Seven for Edayon. A wedge up. And all the way to the back where she wants to be. It's a really good spot to play it to. Downhill putt for a birdie and rightfully smiling after that one.
EA1 is next. Distance really good. Birdie not out of the realm of possibility from four or five meters. recently punishing shield with lovely approach shots Let's see how many birdies we can find when they make it to the green So you two unable to keep a grip on the lead that she took seven holes ago. And Peso Hyun. On number 11, a long way down. Just one shot back with still half a round to play. Study time for the feature group. Target points, changes in elevation, all the factors required to know in their quest for birdie here. That's the furthest from the pin. A short straw drawn by Idayan. We were just shown a few minutes ago that despite this being downhill putt, it's going to need speed. Does it have enough? No. With a little bit more backswing, she probably would have had it there. But stayed true to the line the entire way down. It does require one last tap. So young for par now on 11, but she has pulled that to the inside. So back down to nine under, she will go. Same score as Mata Song and Songi and Iga Young. Tenth has been volatile today as it claims another first bogey of the day mark. 
We go back to 14, punishing shield four meters up the hill. But unfortunately, misread. Leads to another shot to the sand. EA1 certainly familiar with that. Really tricky break here. There's going to be some late action on the putt. She tries to reclaim one of the two strokes she has given up in the heart of this back nine. 3.9 meters for her. Sends it to the outside, but doesn't come back, and despite that being a two-footer, she's not going to want to go too quickly here. And generally, when she's found herself in a mess, the putter is her lifeline. But it is just a incomplete set of tools right now these last two weeks. On 15 at 87 meters, HIM2 with a kick to the left and the max spin to keep it close. to number 15 next, a 346 meter par four. The natural landscape separating the fairway from the tee blocks. Count them up. Six sets of sand traps down the right, the long ribbon on the left just before the bridge to the green. For those who don't fancy attacking the green, generally for players not on the KOPG Tour who can make those shots almost in their sleep. It does, however, mean that the U-shaped sand trap, the pot bunker at the back, both in play with the pin placement today. 13 yards straight ahead from that U, its right curve, and pretty much in the center of the width of the green.
turns away, scot free. The second shot's though, where the drama picks up. down here at 15 EJ on to save her par to keep herself within five at six under slightly downhill a little left to right Sixteen. Downhill tee shot that skirts the left side of the green and shoots off the back. to play her approach. 112. And she avoids the sand, so that is a success in its own right, but that will be a very lengthy putt for par. Putt for birdie, excuse me. Par becomes the expectation because of it. degree wedge for Edayan a little bit further down the fairway could help her be a bit braver in this approach shot it's better depth keeps her closer back that's about 80 percent of the way there on number on put the par three excuse me on is Bung Shin Shiel, second closest to the pin, which could also mean the second furthest runs of your glass half folder, glass half empty type of person. Kim 
from Soyun 2, she is plummeting. Another long par that she needs to avoid. A long line of bogeys. That's a clutch putt to snap the streak and keep her within one. to the 18th and that is a stunning approach. She has been on the more conservative end of the spectrum in terms of her shot taking and shot making but for Yunina on a day where she has also done a bit of slipping down 21 spots from her lead after a 63 that birdie would see her recover to a plus three score which would still be unfortunately for her tied for the highest of anyone above the cut line we go back to 50 EA1 the first to butt for birdie Large backswing needs the speed to get it back. Call it a meter and change for par. start this a look at birdie ends up being equidistant the ZA1 just short instead of past Sixteenth, DJ and two. Not able to shape it to the right. Be a rather lengthy look at a one underscore. Stidayan, 9.6 meters, and this was the closest. Skirts the left side of the hole. on her final hole of the day. Number nine, over the pond and rolling into the back quarter of the green, influenced by the tailwind sending it further along.
Wang Xinxiong. She misses. She will lose any leeway with a cut line. That's a par she should have. That's a par she does have. A little bit less tension, but still much further away from the prime contenders than she would have hoped to be. Looking for a strong response to a quiet tournament last week after winning the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship. Full and a simple tap in to finish the hole, and we move along. 218, Yunina. It's for a round of 75. So, a disappointing follow up to an outstanding opening round. The only birdie of the day comes there. Four bogeys as well, and she finishes. Tied for 14th at the end of this Friday round. Now she can put this behind her and play even half of what she was able to do yesterday. She could work towards that top five again, and who knows what Sunday has in store. to the par three, E.J. Young, yes, really nice read. It's a fantastic putt. To seven under. She had six birdies in the first seven holes and then a lull before finally getting back to the low scores. path starts left coming back online but short well short at that
final three holes begin. Par three, four, and five in that order to finish it. Peng Xin Chiel, one last check of the wind. And now she approaches the ball. Similar endpoint, to be fair, with the slight bend to the right, the pin feels hidden. Factor in the sand trap and the safe route is to go for the middle and with that slight breeze running right to left from their vantage point helps influence Landing point, which we saw Peng Shin Shiel find. See if he um, attempts to be a little bit more aggressive. Which she has done. That'll be about six meters away. A birdie there could see her catch up to Peng Shin Shiel at seven under. the last to tee off. Glances that just past the fringe and gets to a pin high location. And walk down to the green begins. We, in the meantime, return to number nine. Final hole and what Kim Soyun to will hope is the final putt of the day. She's not going to be able to get back to the lead. She holds this, she stays at 10 under, which is what she has done. So 134 strokes at the midway point of the tournament, back-to-back -to -back bogeys six and seven take her out of the lead into a share of third. your run-of-the-mill approach off balance in the hillside rough. Yi Jiayang prepares for her tee shot at 17. To the right of the stone oh, is where the fairway meanders to. Cut drive plate and a really good one at that.
Jan 2. We'll be more than satisfied to follow Jan's lead. Ah. Right to left, we'll see how much distance she plays this to. Stop short of the rough. Jill can't cover the distance with her putt on 16. We go to 13, Peso Hyun for par. Uh, bit of a head scratcher. Just didn't seem to have that putt sorted out at all. The bogey brings her back to even for the round. Tied for eighth. That's two in the last three holes for her. Putt for A1, who was in desperate need for one. Give her a boost of confidence. That's a nine meter putt. And it's a really tight line. Credit to her. Magic of her own. An uphill putt and a little bit too much break. Takes her away, gone to the outside, and we'll settle for a par. It's going to be a treacherous recovery shot. That is well off where she needed to be. Considering the pin was, and is, rather, <laughs> located on the right side of that green. Punishing Shield, this is her putt for par now. Fends off bogey number three. Stays at two under for this second round. Out of the green, but only just. Two 
Great team. Kim Min Ju at two under nine back playing her approach and playing it with precision. Closest to the pin from the group. Now that the par three is in the books, this is the aerial tour of number 17. Gives us our more detailed look of the massive canyon separating the teen ground from the fairway. Really narrow between the two bunkers. 140 on the short end of the average remaining yardage. 90 at the top side of it. All of that to the front of the green. There, the fairway rolls, widens, narrows, and waves on the way to the putting surface. Pin placement today should keep all three of those sand traps generally out of play. Six yards from the fringe, sort of in the middle, you can see how being a little bit short can make the quest for birdie quite difficult. EA1 fresh off that birdie has the honor of going first and a big blast into the fairway. Two for two and now. Hidayan, who is two holes away from repeating the 69 stroke performance from yesterday. Two. This is anything but your run of the mill follow up shot, despite being completely disguised from the hole. That's a pretty stunning recovery shot. Tip of the cap to her. Back to 18, give me Ju. This birdie opportunity is one she'll replay for the next hour after the round concludes. So she'll be tied for 47th, two under, in par round of 70. DJ out for birdie, she's gonna have to follow the contour. Doesn't follow it quite close enough. risk, of course, is going much wider than that. She might not get back on the line 
back towards the hole. On to 14, Peso Jan at 111. In search of a birdie to get her back on the right track. That is going to be a less than enviable third shot as she'll be lined up right beside the tree. takes an extra moment to sort out which club to play. She looks like she's plugged the ball pretty deep in the sand. understand why she's taking a, li a little extra time, excuse me, to prepare for this putt. So she saves that par and will head to the last, knowing that a birdie could move her within three and be in a really good spot for tomorrow's moving day third round. Firm, packed sand trap. Idayan, it appears, is going to use the hybrid, so much less deep in the sand as I had initially wondered. Got mixed messages from the shadow of the ball. So this could work out for her despite being in the hazard that she is. The wind is naturally going to want to take it away from the other sets of sand. A little fade would be just fine. More than just a little fade. Watch out on the path. I commend the bravery, but... That is a risky club in the fairway. It's even riskier from the beach. Okay, so Hyun from beside the tree off 14. Will they get it back? But work to be done still with putter.
right of the fairway with our second. assist from the wind, that last gentle push. A really nice up to set up a birdie. Next is punishing Shill. It is the least dramatic of the approach shots. It is not as close to the pin as would have been desired, but I guess the relief she can take is that she is putting. And now Peso Hyun to save her par. Yes, <laughs> well done. So it would have been understandable for that slide to continue. It's good mental resilience to avoid seeing her name drop further down the list and out side of the top 10. Kim Soyun too, she is in with a round of 71, a 65 on the cards from Yi Ga Young up into a share of fifth with An Song Yi who shoots a 66, the same score held by her two co-leaders at the moment, Pak Ji Young and Chung Yoon Ji with just the 17th and 18th holes remaining for our featured group. We'll take a quick reset and be back to continue our fourth hour of coverage here at the Metaheel Hangugel Bow Championship at Club 72.
Chicago 6 local time, and we are pleased to welcome you back. Pachter Young nearly had a really well converted birdie, but a 270 degree lap around the hole. We'll see her denied of that score. I've brought her to six under par. Now he had one from off the green to just a few short feet away. Sunju, she comes in with a three underscore at the midway mark of the event. We head back to hole 17. Punching Shio looking for a birdie. Really tight line to try and navigate. So she remains with just the one birdie on the back nine. It came at number 12, the par three. Left to right, and just too quick. Didn't really give herself a chance. A little slower, and maybe gravity would have lent her a hand. So then we'll drop her to 20th, assuming she can convert on the bogey putts. You can go to 18. Jay Young over the water between the various sand traps, 123 out and from the fairway here, nearly two meters up to the green. Should be beyond happy with that. Very distinct nature of that change in elevation. Less time in the air, not as much backspin generated from the arc, so it's tough to get it to stick. Makes that approach all the more impressive. Now you can mitigate some of that, of course, by being closer, allowing for a wedge that can produce more loft, and that is precisely the scenario here. Each and two. I sort of guess this is a 52 degree from 103 meters out. And she is blown off the green by the wind, pin high. A much calmer day that might have been able to stick. Up to four meters per second, I guess. Certainly impactful stage of the round. Now EGU. 5.8 meters. Fairly flat. Left to right though for birdie. Yes! She gets back to eight under. She lost it to start the back nine. Four pars in a row. Keeps herself Tells herself rather back into the top ten. And as we wait for Pan Shin Shil EA1 
I need Ion to reach the teeing ground. We'll give you the tour of this 530 meter par five to finish the round, the longest hole on the course, uphill to get things started. Averaging out 290 to 265. It's about 230 meters in change for the drives. 250 from the tee is the end of that bunker on the left as our reference points. A postcard hole with a natural stone facade on the left of the fairway and then playing down. One, two, three, and four sand traps. And the pin placement, which we saw a great angle of from behind the green just a couple of minutes ago. With the pin basically in line with the bottom of that sand trap, nine yards in from the left fringe. It's 14 yards deep, just beyond that little downhill drop in elevation towards the front of the green. One, the first to begin, and is able to find the fairway. to, excuse me, have the option, pitching wedge or putter. Gonna take the flat stick, we'll start down, and carry on up, putting into the wind as well. And will this have the legs? It will. Marginally too far position to the inside left. Par to end the day, it is tied for 20th. Four bogeys makes it a bit more disappointing. And perhaps it could have been. Bang Xin Shiel is next to go. Nothing really to write home about today, but she has been consistent. Great start to a round. Birdies on the first three holes. I'm gonna give two of those strokes back on six and nine. And no birdie since number two. She parted this hole yesterday. Dayan had a birdie here yesterday. Four on the day. She has four as well in this round, but an extra bogey. Making it just a touch trickier for herself with that opening drive. Back to the green. Jayon, who would be on for a round of 66 for herself with this make. 3.3 meters, a downhill putt that comes back online, but with too much speed.
She's been brilliant from inside of three yards. Only one three putt today for her, which of course will do wonders. After 1.6 putts per hole, Jamin Young, she finishes out. We'll head back there in a moment, but we'll step aside for a beat to go to 15. Peso Hyun for birdie. This is looking like it's fading away. And does indeed shimmy on over to the right. So it will be par. Back to E.J. Young, who is fifth in total strokes gained halfway through the tournament. She has putt well as well. She gained three with this club. Oh. And it's par okay. for a 67 in round two. And yes, that's Xberti in a row run. Just the one on the back nine. She is to start tomorrow. Four strokes back of the yes. Great round for her. The wood shots are next. The second. 3.04 to go for EA1. Takes care of business as she'd be expected to do. Once again, keep her out of the fairway, but because it's playing so firm, that is a long distance she's able to play with the wood. That's how firmly packed these traps are at this point in the year. And Peng Shin Shields second. And also takes a good chunk out of the fairway. <laughs> Approach shots next for our future group. A blustery day, but a beautifully sunny day, one that was not necessarily expected when we looked at the forecast yesterday, so happy to be pleasantly surprised by the conditions in this second round. Looking ahead to the weekend, expecting the clouds to roll back in for tomorrow around this temperature again. Probably the windiest round we'll see throughout the weekend, throughout the week really. And then Sunday, a few more clouds. Said it yesterday, I'll repeat it today. Probably for the best that we are getting out of here on Sunday because the rain will roll in with a vengeance on Monday. Chance for thunderstorms as well with this relatively rare humidity for the second week of April. between EA1 and the green. It's a little bit short as that catches the fringe and steals all the speed from the ball. It's definitely up on a platform, this green. It's one of the reasons why you do not want to be short if you can avoid it. So just a... Lob wedge, pitch it up, start it on the run. Put 
obviously. That almost certainly takes Birdie off the table. 99 meters for Feng Xinxiu. And she does get it to stick. Lovely on. This be a share of ninth with the birdie. It'll be number five today. T shot into the sand, Idayan then went across the fairway into the rough on the left side. Probably wants to start this in line with the peak of the tent over the gazebo where the players sign their scorecards and let the wind and the natural tendency do the rest. Let's see how she fares just before the fringe and right at the flag stick. Perfect. If she gets her birdie, it would be consecutive rounds of 69. And in a really well-positioned spot to make a splash tomorrow. sure exactly what it was that allowed EA1 to take a relief. Could be a sprinkler valve near there or some other man-made hazard, but she marked it, did it properly. Tough balance here. Can't go too low with the trajectory, but she knows she'll need speed. It's a good combination of it. She is slightly outside of where Feng Shin Chiu is able to play her approach. She might still be away. Landscaping while Edayon plays hers. And because of the early season success, still finds herself third in the money, but a bit of a different story with the points EA1. It's out of the top five. chance for Ida Young's first birdie since hold number 11. It would be the fifth of the day. It's 2.8 meters. Best describe this break as a wiggle. Right to left for us, left to right for her. 
and the bottom of the cap. So she does go 69 again. With five birds, two bogeys on the back nine. And would be in and will be in for her first point and money scoring event of the week. The eight time winner, the three time major champion. Two of those wins coming last year. The Hanna Financial Group Championship with the payday for 270 million won. And of course, a major winner, the KLPGA Championship last season. And 3A1 so far this season has just been a story of consistency. Tied for 38 in Singapore, won the Blue Canyon Ladies Championship, tied for 42nd last week. here. Keeps her tie for 38th. She misses. She drops out of the top 40. 2.8 meters, the same distance from a relatively flat stretch of green. She's able to secure her par. A really good start for three birdies in the first four. Only one birdie since hole number five and a bogey run midway through the back nine. Strokes for her through two rounds for Peng Shin Shiel. Chance to move into the top 10. It would be a share of ninth, 2.4. A little right to left and handled well. 67 to open the tournament and a 69 today for her as well. Five birdies, two bogeys, T9 midway through this Medi-Heel Hang Bow Championship. We'll take you through the round highlights now as our featured group exits the 18th green. And we'll do our best to tell the story of the day. Most of the action at the top of the leaderboard, admittedly, Yay happened this morning before we got on and it was a really good stretch on the first nine holes shifted of course with their having begun on hole number 10 this was on eight the 17th hole of the round and nearly an ace just when we were starting to see players inch closer to double digits the birdie Propel Cho Ayan to ninth. Excuse me, nine under, that is. And then on five, another player who started on ten and was able to find a few big pickups in the last few holes of her round. Chung Yun Ji, she was storming into the finish yesterday. Today on 18, we saw the winner from 2022, the first time this tournament oh, was held, yeah. Park Ji Young, Jar a birdie, for a 66 with no bogeys, four of those birds coming in the stretch from 10 through 18. This was on seven, perhaps the putt of the day, one of the best of the 36 holes each player has gone through. Six in a row, of course, to start for E.J. Young. On number one, co-leading at the time from the bunker to a little backspin zip and a halt. Kim so Yoon two. Would take her to 12 under and we were rightfully wondering how big of a lead could she build? She had eight holes remaining, the stroke she had covered off for herself. But she just couldn't sustain it on the way in. That, of course, the putt from Peng Shin Shield that we saw just a few moments ago that takes her into the top 10. So for Kim So Yoon, too, from that birdie at 10 and 11, 
I'll parse the rest of the way. Now that was, of course, from her first nine holes, but that birdie at ten, her tenth hole, excuse me, I'll get this out, don't worry. Drop shots at six and seven, and then par par to finish. So tied for third she is with Cho Ayun at the midway mark. Pak Ji Young, Chung Yu Ji, the leaders heading into the weekend. We will, of course, see them in the featured groups tomorrow. Yi Dayun, three under 69. Pak Ji Yu with the 68 today. Really nicely done after being even through 18. Start to see a couple of players start to fall off some red numbers towards the end of that top 20. Kim Woo Jung, a plus 375, dropping her towards 50th. And in that race for the cut line, which is projected to be at one under, we have 61 players clear. Now, there are a few still out there whose fate we will not know until tomorrow. One of them being Sherman Santiwiwa Tanampong, one of the two Thai players on the course. She is on her final hole if she pars. She is through to the weekend. Kim Ji Hyun also on 18, needing a par. Kimi Ji with three holes to get a bit of separation. And then those on the alternate side. Isu Jean, three. She could birdie in one of her final two holes to crack the cut. Chung Zui as well. So, mostly known, but a couple of variables that will be decided after we go off the air. But when we come back on it tomorrow, an hour earlier from 1 p.m. local time in Incheon. We will, of course, have our field reduced from 120 to somewhere around 60 players. We hope you enjoyed our second round coverage, just as we hope you will make some time for us this weekend as well. Should be a fantastic one at Club 72. But for now, this is Adam Jenkins signing off for SPS Golf at the end of round two of the Medi-Heel Hangugo Bow Championship. We will see you tomorrow.